welcome back to the line winder here at Gamefish. Uh, another one for you today. I've got a, a Reddington crosswater reel, which is one of Reddington's sort of entry level reels. And onto that, we're going to put uh, this is going to be a saltwater setup, something slightly different. Um, some GSP backing, I'll explain about that in a second. And the mainstream saltwater line, um, which is a sort of again entry level basic. Uh, salt water line so just a bit on the reel cross water reel is a uh, again entry level 50 pounds 60 pounds something like that plastic or it's probably glass fiber reinforced nylon so it's a very tough a very tough plastic disc drag um large arbor what can i say it, i guess it, it, at that price it's a good reel um but it is plastic so it feels like plastic. If, if, if you're not into that, if that's not for you, then um, yeah, it's, it's not great um, when you compare it to an aluminium reel, but still a, still a good reel. And plastic's surprisingly tough. You know, you drop this and it's not gonna, it's not gonna crack. Um, you know, it might bend, or, but it, you know, it gives, it's got a bit of give in it, like I'm really squeezing that. Um, so yeah, if you're a sort of novice, I guess, new to fishing, that's a good option. Um, the GSP backing from Rio is not a Dacron backing, it's um, probably twice the price, maybe more. Um, eight strand woven backing and it's, and it's very supple, very slick. It's also much stronger for its diameter, so, so this is 65 pound breaking strain. And what that means is y you can you get you know very strong backing, but you also get more backing on your reel potentially um so if you were to put 30 pound let's say you're a salmon you put 30 pound on at the same thickness as this so you, so you, you know you can get a lot more on and, and much stronger stuff um yeah and it's nice and supple and it, it's sort of the best backing you can get i think the mainstream salt water line entry level salt water line um like all of the mainstream products from Rio it's slightly heavier than its rating so this is a weight forward eight so it's um, yeah I don't know slightly heavier what can you call it eight and a half or something and what that means is a couple of things if you've got a fast rod um, it will load that better it will just it will load most rods you know slightly better slightly quicker because it will overload them in a way or if you're a novice or a beginner it's it's also great to f for more feel um, because it's slightly overloading the rod potentially, you just feel a lot more and, and you can feel the rod loading. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're, they're a great selling line. Short heads as well on these, again, just to help the, I think to help the novice fisher load the rod quicker. They're not, they don't have to carry a lot of line. Um, so that's that. And this is a saltwater version. So it's designed for saltwater, obviously. It's probably designed for slightly warmer conditions um, so it will stand up to slightly warmer conditions uh, yeah and just won't degrade like perhaps a fresh water line would in in the salt um, so let's get this on Two hundred yards here. I, I don't think I'm going to get all of this on this reel, but the customer will give the excess over to the customer, and I'm sure they'll use it for something. Potentially, maybe they've got a another reel they need to load up. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. I think this um, GSP backing changes color every 10 meters as well. Uh, I don't really know if that's much use. I think if you're playing a fish and you're into the backing, you've probably got bigger concerns than counting the colors to see how much line it's taken. But perhaps in the salt, in a salt environment on the flats, you know, big GTs, big Titans, maybe you 
you want to know how much backing it's taking. But again, who's, who's going to count that? Left hand wind. And forward, shall we go? There's a colour change. as much backing on as possible for this guy because he, he is going to use it in the salt there's a chance to hook into something quite big and angry so let's see how much we can get on here without overloading it let's go with that So it did take 200 yards. Wow. Wow, I'm surprised by that. Um, yeah, so the mainstream lines, again, they don't come with a loop on either end. So I will need to strip the coating off and put a loop in the back. Um, I, I think that's it's probably to keep the keep the cost down. Loops putting loops in lines does cost the manufacturer some time and money. So to keep the cost down, they they don't come with a welded loop. Um, but you know, I think you've probably seen in some of the other videos we can we can put one in. Not a welded loop, but a loop. could also use a braided loop if you wanted to, um, although braided loops are a bit bulky. There we go. So I've taken the coating off and then I'll put a perfection loop in that. Hopefully I've taken enough coating off. Well, that's hard to do. Made it half and half. Come on. And it's cold in here today. <laughs> there we go. So that's a good perfection loop there. So the strength of the line is in the core, not in the coating. So it, you know, you're, called, you're called to do that. Watch this. No, I need to put this line on pretty well because I think it's gonna be it's gonna be close. Nice loop to loop.
I don't know how this happens. I'd love to speak to Rio. Well, I mean, speak to Rio all the time. I'd like to speak them, to them about this problem directly and say, hey, look, what what's going on here? How are you loading your reels so this happens? What I can do is take that loop. Get rid of it. Get rid of it for the time being. maximum backing on there 200 yards and there's still a bit of wiggle room on the body but of course you're never going to fish it like this you're always going to have I don't know, 30 yards out or 20 30 yards out so I'm happy with that let's see what this sounds like good it's a good um it's a great entry level saltwater kit that albeit with very expensive backing um, you could have the same thing with just your normal dacron backing would be absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. 